After a few days of relentlessly searching the village Sir Roderick's men stopped looking for me and left to head back to the capital city. Alara and I watched from a distance as the last of Sir Roderick's men rode away, their armor glinting in the morning sun. The village slowly began to return to normal, the tense atmosphere easing with each passing hour. Isabel, let's head to the shop. Alara said using my new temporary name. I had to switch my name. Being called Alistair was sure to raise suspension. I nodded, adjusting the simple dress Alara had given me. It still felt strange to move in this new, smaller body, but I was determined to adapt. Alara led the way, her silver hair catching the light as we walked towards the village. As we entered the village, I couldn't help but feel a sense of unease. The people went about their daily routines, unaware of the danger that lurked nearby. I followed Alara closely, trying to blend in and avoid drawing attention. The shop was a small, quaint building with a thatched roof and a wooden sign that creaked in the breeze. Alara pushed the door open, and the warm, inviting smell of baked goods and herbs greeted us. Good morning, Alara, the shopkeeper, a plump woman with rosy cheeks, called out from behind the counter. Who is this young lady with you? This is Isabel, Alara replied smoothly. She's a distant relative who will be staying with me for a while. The shopkeeper smiled warmly at me. Welcome, Isabel. Feel free to look around and let me know if you need anything. I nodded shyly, my heart pounding in my chest. Alara gave me a reassuring pat on the shoulder before heading to the back of the shop to speak with the shopkeeper. I wandered through the aisles, marveling at the variety of goods on display. There were jars of spices, bundles of dried herbs, and freshly baked bread that made my mouth water. As I browsed, I overheard snippets of conversation between Alara and the shopkeeper. They spoke in hushed tones, discussing the recent events in the village and the continued presence of Sir Roderick's men. It was clear that the village was still on edge, and my presence only added to the tension. After a while, Alara returned with a basket filled with supplies. Let's head back, Isabel, she said her voice gentle but firm. We have much to do. As we left the shop and made our way back to the cottage, Alara explained her plans. We need to keep a low profile for now, she said. But there are things we can do to prepare. We will continue your training and start gathering information about Sir Roderick's movements. There are allies in the kingdom who oppose him, and we need to find them. I nodded, determination in my eyes. I'll do whatever it takes. Alara. I wanted to be ready to face him, Alara smiled, her eyes filled with pride. I know you will, Alistair. You have a strength within you that even Sir Roderick cannot extinguish. Over the next few weeks, Alara and I settled into a routine. She taught me how to harness my magic, guiding me through exercises that helped me focus and control the energy within me. It was challenging, but with each passing day, I felt myself growing stronger and more confident. We also spent time exploring the forest, learning its secrets and discovering hidden paths that could be useful in the future. Alara introduced me to other inhabitants of the forest, creatures and beings who had lived in harmony with nature for centuries. They welcomed me, recognizing the royal bloodline that flowed within me. As the days turned into weeks, I began to feel more at home in my new body. The forest became my sanctuary, a place where I could train and prepare for the challenges ahead. Alara was a patient and wise teacher, and under her guidance, I felt myself transforming not just physically, but mentally and emotionally as well. One evening, as we sat by the fire in the cottage, Alara brought up the subject of the village again. Tomorrow, we will visit the village market, she said. There is someone there I want you to meet. He is a key ally in our fight against Sir Roderick. Who is he? I asked, curiosity piqued. His name is Marcus, Alara replied. He is a merchant, but he has connections within the kingdom that could prove invaluable to us. He has been quietly gathering support for a resistance against Sir Roderick.